The biggest private infrastructure project in Western Australia's history is Perth's $5 billion airport upgrade. By 2031, Perth Airport will feature a brand new terminal, a 3,000-metre parallel runway, two massive car parks, and its first on-site hotel. The goal? To handle over 20 million passengers a year and become Australia's second largest international hub, right behind Sydney. Qantas and Jetstar are preparing to relocate their entire operations. Construction is already underway, and the transformation is so massive, even the flight paths above Perth will change. So why did it take decades of legal battles, planning setbacks and negotiations to make this project possible? And what exactly is it going to take to pull off a mega project like this? To understand what's coming, we need to go back to where it all began. Would you believe that Perth Airport began as a golf course? It's true. Back in World War II, the Dunreath Golf Course was turned into a Royal Australian Air Force base. By 1943, a runway was built to support fighter planes. Then, just a year later, something big happened. Commercial flights began. Qantas and ANA were given the green light to fly from the site, which was then called Guildford Aerodrome. So when did it officially become Perth Airport? That moment came in 1952, and in 1953, the first international terminal was opened. But here's the twist. It was built using recycled wartime materials. From there, things kept moving forward. In 1986, a major international terminal opened. Over time, new domestic terminals were added. And in 1997, there was a big shift. The airport went from government control to private hands under a 99-year lease. There were steady changes over the years. A new terminal here, a car park there. But the long-term goal? That was much bigger. It was about solving one big problem. Perth Airport was split in two. Terminals 1 and 2 sat on the east side, Terminals 3 and 4 were on the west. Sounds confusing, right? And it was. Moving between terminals took time, especially for travellers making connections. It wasn't just frustrating, it also limited how much the airport could grow in the future. So, what was the answer? Consolidation. Bringing everything together in one place. That's been the dream all along. The airport tried to unify the terminals back in its 2004 master plan, but it hit a wall. Qantas refused to move. Legal battles erupted, growth stalled, the COVID pandemic didn't help either. For years, expansion plans were frozen. So what changed? In 2024, the airport finally got a breakthrough. A new 12-year deal was made. Qantas and Jetstar agreed to move everything to the airport's central area by 2031. That deal opened the door for something big. Not just a new terminal, but a brand new way to travel through Perth. So what does a $5 billion airport transformation really look like? Let's step into the future of Perth Airport. The scale is staggering. We're talking about a brand new terminal, a 3,000 meter parallel runway, two giant car parks, and even the airport's first hotel. And all of this is being built while the current airport stays open. How do you pull that off? Let's take a closer look. First up, the terminal. This is the center of everything. It's going right next to Terminal 1 and will eventually handle all Qantas and Jetstar flights, both domestic and international. What does that mean for passengers? Smoother connections, fewer delays, and a better flow all around. The design is built for big crowds with more gates, faster baggage systems, and high-tech check-in using common user self-service kiosks. But it's not only about size, it's also about being ready for the future. The layout gives the airport room to grow. Wide walkways, open lines of sight, and flexible spaces. This isn't about fixing small problems, it's about long-term solutions. And there's more. The airport wants to use less energy, save more water, and cut waste. These eco-friendly ideas are part of the plan from day one. Now, what's happening outside? A new sky bridge will link the terminal to a six-story car park. This is just one of two huge parking buildings to handle more travelers. Inside, there'll be premium bays, motorcycle spots, parents with pram spaces, and even electric vehicle charging. And on the ground floor, a modern transport hub to make rideshares, taxis, and buses easier to catch while keeping emergency routes clear and traffic moving. 
Getting around the airport is about to feel a whole lot smoother. But what's the biggest upgrade of all? Look up. By 2028, a brand new parallel runway will stretch across the eastern side of the airfield. At 3,000 meters long and 45 meters wide, it's built to handle everything, from big wide-body jets to smaller regional planes. It will also come with new taxiways, lighting systems, navigational aids, drainage, and flight paths designed to reduce noise. Why is that so important? Because the airport is already packed during peak hours. In 2024, it handled 16 million passengers, and that number is expected to reach 20 million in just a few years. Without more runway space, things could get messy fast. This second runway changes everything. It will cut down on delays, open up direct flight paths, and help planes land and take off more quietly and efficiently. How? The paths are being redesigned with Air Services Australia to reduce noise for people living nearby. Worried about the environment? That box is checked. The project passed all environmental tests and was planned to avoid damage to protected areas like Monday Swamp. It's not only an upgrade, it's a strategic shift in how the airport grows. And that growth doesn't stop on the tarmac. By 2027, travelers won't even need to leave the airport to get a good night's sleep. Why head into the city when comfort is just steps away? In partnership with Accor, Perth Airport will open the Pullman Perth Airport Hotel. Eight floors, 240 rooms, a rooftop restaurant, gym, lounge cafe, and direct access to the terminals. Whether you're stuck on a long layover, catching an early flight, or don't want to call a taxi at midnight, this hotel will bring a new level of comfort and ease the airport never had before. But what will it look like inside? Architects from DKO made sure it feels like Western Australia earthy textures, local stone, a rooftop with sunset views over the runway. Business travelers will have co-working lounges and fast Wi-Fi. Families will find easy to use rooms and quick ways to catch their flights. This isn't just a hotel, it's part of the whole trip. And it gets even better. While the eastern side is being built, other parts of the airport are already getting upgrades. Terminal 2 is adding more gates and places to sit. Terminal 3, once used by ANSAT, is being updated so it can handle Qantas flights to Auckland, Johannesburg and other big cities. Jetstar will move its local flights to Terminal 2 by late 2024, while international flights stay at Terminal 1. The upgrade also includes new apron expansions and support facilities, with construction partners like West Coast Civil and Perkins Builders delivering new hangars, taxiways and expanded gates. Even Virgin Australia is getting its own support area, giving it room to grow. So what does that mean for 2031? When the terminal opens, the rest of the airport won't be scrambling to catch up. It'll already be ahead of the game. But who's making sure all these moving pieces work together? That's where Bechtel comes in. They've been picked as the capital portfolio partner. Their mission? Keep everything on track. From the terminal to the runways, they're making sure all the parts fit together. And they're doing it while the airport stays open and running. Sound tough? Not for Bechtel. They've handled more than 100 airport projects around the world, from Western Sydney to Doha. When they say they've got this, they mean it. They know how to build around busy terminals without causing delays. They're not just working on one piece of the puzzle, they're running a full upgrade with many projects moving at the same time and all of them are leading to one big goal, a smarter, faster, future-ready airport. And what about connectivity? That part's already taken care of. The Metronet Airport Central Station opened in 2022 links the airport directly to Perth City by train. It's quick, cheap, and takes passengers straight into the heart of the new airport area. No pricey taxi rides, no sitting in traffic, no reasons to miss your flight. The $1.3 billion rail link is already showing results. Now it's being folded into a bigger transport plan with road upgrades, new bus stops, and a completely redesigned pickup zone on the way. This station is about to become the front door for millions. Even while construction is still happening, it's helping workers, engineers, and soon tourists get in and out with ease. Speaking of tourists, the numbers don't lie. 
By 2031, Qantas plans to add 4.4 million seats a year through Perth. Direct flights to Paris and Rome are already popular, London is booming, and with a new terminal and hangar ready, Perth will soon open more routes to Asia, India, Africa, and Europe. And here's the big news. When the terminal opens, Perth will officially be Australia's second biggest international hub right behind Sydney. That's not a prediction, that's already locked in. Qantas will make this its biggest base outside of Sydney, Jetstar is joining too, and with that move, Perth Airport becomes more than a stopover. It becomes the front door to Australia for travellers from the West. But this isn't only about aviation. This expansion will create thousands of construction jobs, and once it's up and running, there will be a need for more pilots, engineers, hotel staff and airline crew. It also supports the fly-in, fly-out mining workforce. It boosts tourism. It strengthens local trade. This airport puts Western Australia on the map, not only as a destination, but as a shining example of what smart, sustainable airport design can be. And while it's taken years to get here, through planning changes, airline disagreements, and even a global pandemic, the transformation is finally taking shape. What about you? Do you think this huge airport project will really change Perth? Or will there be challenges? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds, and turn on notifications.